Hey New Hope, Merry Christmas. This time of year is so special because we remember and celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ, our Savior. Christmas is a holiday that is marked with the act of giving. We place presents under the Christmas tree, we fill up stockings, we send packages to family and friends, and we look for opportunities to help and give to those in need during this time. There can be so much joy that is had in just the act of giving. But not only does the action of generous giving mark the Christmas season, so does a heart of gratitude and thanksgiving. Gratitude to God for sending his son, for the gifts received from friends and family, and for the fun and festive decoration and food to eat. But what if we could expand our joy and gratitude past the holiday season? What if we simply looked for the gifts given to us by God throughout the entire year instead of just these three to four weeks? And perhaps to do so, we have to look for the miraculous in the mundane and the gift in the everyday way of life. For instance, uh, as spring comes, which we might all be looking forward to, I like winter personally, but let's say spring is coming and the grass grows green, didn't the Lord create the grass? It's a gift for you and me. The sun sets, the sun rises, a gift. Dish ooh, dishes sit in the sink waiting to be washed and put away. They signify that we had food to eat and enjoyed family time around the table. Wonderful gifts. We have socks for cold feet, a nail clipper for that painful hangnail, a pen to write with, glasses to see with, a roof over our heads. All gifts. And when we take time to name each gift and thank God for what he has given us, even the smallest of the smallest things, it changes us. A heart of gratitude produces a perspective to see how truly blessed we are. And when we live a life of gratitude, we have overflowing joy. So I encourage you this during this season, remember the amazing gift of Jesus, him taking on human form, Emmanuel, God with us. But also remember the small gifts that God has given to you every day of your life. The delightful laugh of your child, a fresh cup of coffee in the morning, a fresh snowfall, each snowflake unlike the other, a hot day perfect for a visit to the beach or maybe the water park, even the smallest of the smallest gifts. Give thanks. Name the gifts and give thanks. Walk in gratitude to God and live with an abundant, joy-filled life. In First Thessalonians uh, chapter 5, verses 16 through 18, it says this, Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. It's God's will for us to give thanks, to live um, our life in gratitude. And there are so many things that we can be thankful for. We just have to open our eyes, look, and name each and every one. What a wonderful and abundant, joy-filled life each of us could have. We simply have to choose gratitude for every and all of the gifts God has given to us. Uh, may you have a blessed and wonderful Christmas season, remembering who it's all about. Let me pray for you. Dear God, thank you so much for sending your son. Lord, thank you for this this holiday season as we as we remember Jesus and, and we get to celebrate his birth, Lord. We thank you for all the gifts you've given us. Lord, help us to open our eyes and see um, just how truly blessed we are by you. Lord, we love you and we give you all the praise and glory. In your name I pray. Amen.